Today, it seems like everyone and their cats is moving into Dubai. In fact, according to recent statistics, the UAE was the second most popular location for millionaires to move to last year. So as someone who has lived in UAE for more than one and a half years now, and who knows tons of other entrepreneurs and successful people who have done the same, and who even helps other people do that on this YouTube channel, what might surprise you is that it's not just about taxes. Sure, the UAE has a very low tax rate, 0% for personal income, and either zero or nine percent for corporate income depending on your revenue and given how easy and straightforward the tax system is in the uae this is pretty much amongst the lowest tax you can possibly get with a proper business structure which whenever people find out that i live in dubai often makes them say oh he just moved to dubai to avoid taxes and while that is of course a massive reason why i went there after all no sane person who can think for themselves wants to spend 40 to 60 percent of their income to a government that isn't really using it properly anyway. But UAE is not the only place in the world with low tax. There are a bunch of other options. And obviously the UAE is not right for everyone, but there must be some other reasons why the UAE and Dubai specifically as a city is so attractive, specifically for entrepreneurs and high income expats. So in this video, I wanna give you my take on what all these reasons are, why Dubai is now such a hotspot for everyone to move to. By the way, if you yourself are right now looking to move to Dubai, Dubai, then what I recommend everyone to do nowadays is to use a reputable agency to help you make the move. Unless you're willing to spend hundreds of hours researching everything on your own, especially if you're making a decent amount of money, it's a much better use of resources for you to have someone simply do everything for you. Because the process is quick and straightforward, but there are a lot of pitfalls and a lot of big mistakes that I myself personally made when I went through this process that will probably end up costing you way more than the fee that you're going to pay to the agency anyway. But the problem is that there are tons of very shady agencies out there that aren't going to give you a good service that are going to set up your company wrong for you like i've literally seen this happen to my friends which is why i have partnered with who i believe to be the best agency in the business gen zone what you can do is book a free 45 minute consultation with them down below where can they can just walk through the entire process with you from everywhere from exiting your home country to setting up business and tax residency in dubai and that is all completely free and then at the end of it if you want them to help you they can move you forward so if you're interested in that click that link down below in the description to book your free consultation right now. So the overall high level reason of why everyone is moving to Dubai right now is that it simply makes sense. And it makes sense specifically for entrepreneurs and growth minded individuals. So why do I say this? So I've divided these reasons of why Dubai is so attractive for two main categories, lifestyle reasons and business slash financial reasons. So first let's go over the lifestyle reasons. The first thing is going to be safety. I am a very focused person. I want to be really focused on my boring routine of running my businesses and anything that can distract me from the peace of mind of just being able to focus on what I want to focus on is something that I want to avoid and being in a place that has a lot of crime where you need to constantly look over your shoulder is a big like tax on my peace of mind and it's not just for myself like imagine you have a girlfriend or you have a girl with you having to worry whether they're gonna get home safe is another like a massive peace of mind tax on my life when I lived in London like there were literally stabbings every two weeks like I'm not kidding there were stabbings multiple stabbings on the very street where I live. The place is literally a war zone these days. Like you cannot live there without looking over your shoulders constantly. And it's just a nasty environment to be in overall. And people who live there are just so used to the huge levels of crime that they don't realize how nice it is to be in an environment where you don't have any crime. The second reason is the weather. Now weather especially is obviously going to be subjective, but let's be honest, most people would prefer warm weather over cold weather. Most people would prefer sunny, clear weather over rainy weather. Sure, maybe some people prefer the rain and cloudy overcast depressingness of London, but that's not going to be most people. Now, the big caveat for Dubai, it is going to be way, way too hot in the summer months. So around two to three months of the year, it is going to be too hot. But if you're looking for a place where you can spend six to eight months and maybe you want to travel around, then Dubai is perfect for most of the year. And this is another really underrated quality of life improvement to just see the sun every single day. Like there's literal science that seeing the sun and being exposed to the sun will increase your testosterone, like improve your health in so many different ways. Now you might say, sure, Dubai has great weather, but there's many sunny places. But what many of these places like Bali, Thailand, Spain, Italy don't have is the 
ultra modern, ultra convenient city lifestyle that Dubai offers. Now, again, this is going to be subjective. Not everyone's looking for the ultra convenience. Not everyone wants that. Maybe you want to live in a cottage somewhere in the countryside. But chances are, if you're an entrepreneur, if you're a growth minded person, you're going to prefer to be in a more stimulating, more city kind of environment. And for those kinds of people, for that category of person, Dubai offers like a maximum version of that type of lifestyle. Dubai is essentially designed to make life as easy as possible for you. I always tell my friends that in Dubai, I could literally live my entire life without leaving my building. There's a gym in most buildings. I can get delivery everything, delivery food. I can even order people to clean my room, which by the way, both of those things are surprisingly cheap. There's even been a swimming pool in all the buildings that I've lived in. Now, of course, I think a life like that where you just live inside your apartment is a pretty depressing life. One of the best parts about Dubai is again, the sunshine that I can go outside, go for a morning walk every morning, enjoy the sun. So of course, I don't live like that, but I just say that to illustrate just how convenient everything is. I've been spending some time here in Bali for the past month. And the one thing that I sort of always miss here is the city convenience where everything is just easy. Like I like those kinds of comforts. But beyond these lifestyle reasons, we have a lot of business and financial reasons. And the first reason is the network. Now, precisely because everyone, especially very serious entrepreneurs, high growth minded people are moving to Dubai, that fact in and of itself makes it more attractive because people like to be surrounded by people who are similar to them. And that's another big reason while I'm going to keep having multiple different places around the world in all kinds of different places, I want my main base to be in the kinds of place where a lot of people similar to myself are moving to. I regularly get tons of messages, obviously via this YouTube channel on my Instagram of all kinds of super interesting people who have either moved there or who are interested in moving there, who want to meet. I've made so many awesome connections and that just would not be possible if I was in a place that doesn't attract that level of people. And the business reason number two is even easy 0 slash 9% tax setup. What I specifically mean here is not only do you get access to either zero or very low tax. And by the way, the way it works is if you make more than 3 million dirhams a year revenue, then you are subject to the new 9% corporate tax. But if you make less than that revenue, then you are not going to be subject to the tax. You're essentially going to be exempt because of something called the small business relief. So whichever category you fall into, what makes Dubai especially attractive is that it's a very simple system. There's a lot of places in the world where you can get low tax, but you sort of need to jump through hoops. Like maybe you have a lump sum taxation system where you need to apply for it and all of this, and you need to be making a lot of money in order for that to make sense for you. Maybe there are some conditions like, for example, Thailand, where you can get low tax, but you'll still be taxed on the money you bring into the country. And there's all these cases and Dubai is all very simple. The process is straightforward. Everything is clear. The laws are clear, which I recommend you read, by the way. Some parts of the process of setting everything up are something that you want to be very careful of to not do it wrong, to not set up your company wrong, to set up your bank accounts correctly, everything like that, which is why, again, like I said before, I recommend you use an agent like the agents that I can recommend down below in the description to make sure that everything is set up properly. But as long as you do everything right, it's a very simple and straightforward setup, which again allows you to focus your mind on what matters, which is on growing your business and your income. And business reason number three is reliable business infrastructure. Now, as a global entrepreneur, where you set up your business doesn't necessarily have to be where you live. So let's say you live in Thailand. And you might not probably want to set up your business in Thailand simply because the business infrastructure, the banking infrastructure, these kinds of things are just not as developed in a place like Thailand, which is why a lot of people who live there, they still have businesses either in the UAE or Singapore, or Hong Kong or a US LLC or something like that. So another benefit of the UAE is that you have a first world level business infrastructure, banking infrastructure, all of that is really great, which if you live there, then it gives you the added benefit of just being able to have your company in the same place where you live which, like I said before, it doesn't have to be that way, but it just makes things slightly easier and slightly simpler. And I just want to give you one bonus reason. That's a very underrated thing, but there's a really, really big factor that I've only now really realized after spending a lot of time there. Now, Dubai is a kind of city that makes you dream, that motivates you to work harder. Maybe not for everyone, but at least for me, when you walk around, you see supercars, you see all these big modern buildings, you see people around you doing big things. Like you feel like this is a place that moves fast. One of the fastest moving places in the world. For me, this makes me want to work hard. Like when I'm there, I'm mostly thinking about work most of the time. Like just as a comparison, now that I've been here in Bali for the past month, I noticed that I just think about work a lot less when I'm here. I think people really underestimate how much we're influenced by our environment. When I'm here and everyone's relaxed, you have this surfer sort of island lifestyle, which is great for that purpose if that's 
that's what you're looking for, it does have a sort of real impact on my work and my business and my productivity because I'm just naturally not as focused on that. Whereas in Dubai, when I'm walking around the Dubai Marina, I see all the buildings and all this, like I'm just thinking about income and business all of the time. Now, of course, if you don't want that kind of life, if that, if that is not your goal, then Dubai is probably not right for you, which is again why I say it is right for that certain archetype of person who really wants to go far and do big things. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you are interested in moving to Dubai and you're now wondering about the process, what does it take? How do you set up a business here? How do the taxes work? Everything you need to know about the process of getting set up here, then I recommend you watch this video right here. I think it's the best video on the internet about the whole process of moving to Dubai. I go through everything you need to know in one place. So go watch that video next and I'll see you in the next one.